well in advance, saying, I'm going to ward here because that's where I think Helios is going to come. This is really risky by Helios. Red Helios by book. He like really wants this fight, but he's in the middle of enemy champions. I don't know why he stayed. He was spotted. Ignite is on. One attack from dead. Burning down and the first... Bolty, there's the teleport in. It's going to be the backup. The two men knock with their meteor takes a bunch of damage. The kickback from Helios, and they claim the kill. Now Krepa gets shockwaved in, but the shield comes up. Stays alive a few more seconds, but now the fight... ...to go here now. Wow, Meteos gonna get caught up by Pobalt right there. Great ulti comes out. The slow in from Krepro as well. There's the ball. There's the shot. If gold card's gonna be enough though, that's gonna be a kill picked up. Now high goes for the counter engage. Ignite is on. Pobalter runs away. The army that is Cloud9 right now. Looks like he's not gonna be able to. Actually does burn flash. He wants to buy even more time. There's the body slam. Binding won't land, but they are still chasing. Great slows hit. This will be in. And this one, where is Meteos? He's not quite in range. Runs forward. Not gonna get in time. Shockwave does not catch a whole bunch. And Krepo forced to run away there. Does go down to sneak. Sneaky Inox knocked into the team. Helios is going to take down Metis, but two for one so far for Cloud9. Helios has got to be careful. High stays healthy. Balls picked into three more people. Does Helios... And they want to pick now onto Boss Cleaver is going to hit. TF is going to reach in in time. And Krepo shows up. That is a kill picked up. Pabelzer goes in for high. And they're going to... Fast. Meteos does have Smite. Meteos and Lemon are around, and yes, he does have Smite. The puddle comes down. The health bar is actually staying pretty high for EG. They don't have to contest. Meteos is health. spotted. He's trying. He goes in with the Black Shield. Can't smite it in time, but he goes for Pobelzer. Goes down too fast. And sustain-wise. Good flu. The flash in the slow to high. They got the knock, and he's got no way out. The kick into the wall, and the shot. This. Ulti comes in. Who are they going to find? Shotgun's going to catch him, though. Pobo is forced to Zonia's. Damage comes through, but here's the rest of the team. Can Pobo get away? No, he cannot. Balls flames one. In the bottom lane, they force the teleport in. How quickly can Cloud9 get this Baron down? Very quickly is the answer. Can they even get a steal at this point? EG's slow. He's coming in. Baron Nashford goes down. The fight starts. Shot him. Get a Pobelter. But big damage comes through. Levin is gone. A Pobelter will fall. But is this the fight that EG wants? They are chasing down. High has a shield. Sneaky gets away from the queue. High will die. Sneaky's got nowhere to go. In comes Altec. There's the knockback. And AD carry player still gone for 30. Top lane inhibitor turret is going to go down. Still a 3v2. Inox does not seem to feel pain right here. And of course, you still got Helio setting up the mid lane as well. Lemonation back a at least three wins in the four games. There's a movement on high. Oh, They're gonna go for the knockup. They catch balls a little bit, but Zonius is pop. Pop on the side. Looks for Sneaky. Can he find him? Doesn't look for that just yet. Goes for high instead. Pops the Zonius. Alltech is dominating after he picks up balls. High will go down. Now Minos and Sneaky trying to run away. Only guys left alive. EG gonna easily collapse on those. That is the ace with no kills lost. No Pobelter gonna take that back. Evil geniuses are gonna take down Cloud9, push in ever closer to the playoffs. Wow, what a fight that was by EG. Pobelter in particular, a huge MVP. He gets in gold card range of High Zoriana and gets out alive, then lands multiple gold cards as the rest of EG is piling down, and they finally find the fight they need to take out Cloud9. There go the rest of the structures, evil geniuses. They needed three wins at least, and that requires other teams cooperating. They've got one so far. The bottom two Jeez. teams in the standings are both 1-0 so far in Super Week. Yeah. And I don't know who's going to playoffs, Jeff.